Hi everybody, my name is Whitney April. I'm 25 years old and I'm a singer and a TikToker. South Africa's newest TikTok sensation stumbled into fame. Her videos went viral and led her to securing an international deal with Grammy winner PJ Morton's management team. So in the 2020 lockdown, I decided to join TikTok. And then I decided, okay, I'm gonna actually just post something of my own um, on the app. And I did that. And I then eventually joined a, a cappella group. It's like just for fun. We would, people from all around the world, we'd sing together. And um, PJ Morton's manager, Wade Jordan, he came across one of those videos. And he said um, that I stood out a year later, I signed to his management. How does this platform how do you feel that this platform has, in a way, changed your life? Um, TikTok has changed my life tremendously so far. It's just the beginning. I was a teacher prior to this, and I was just set in a routine. Let me walk upon the waters, wherever you call me. I don't think it would have been possible without the TikTok app, if I'm being honest. Um, the What I like specifically about the app is that it's putting you on anybody's for you page. April is now expanding beyond the world of TikTok, and has just released her beautiful rendition of the prayer with tenor Roderick Dixon. I pray you'll be our eyes and watch us where we go. When I sing, I want people to actually feel what I'm singing. Um, and then the message, of course, it's a message of hope. It's a message like inspiring people. It's just, it's such a warm message. Whitney's brother, a DJ and music producer himself, is in awe of his sister. Let this be our prayer. Whitney is just an incredible talent. It's just so heartwarming knowing when she was younger, she was the most shy person I know. So now to see her like get out of a shell and actually get into studio record, and it's, I feel like all the different studio spaces is really bringing her out of a shell as well. Um, so she really, she hasn't reached the potential yet, 100%. So when she does reach that top potential, it's gonna be amazing. 10 years time, where does Whitney April want to be? Oh man, I love that question. I hope to just be maybe on a big stage and just singing because that's definitely like it's genuinely what I love. So I hope that in 10 years there's people that followed that are also now doing what they want to do, to do because they saw my journey. Julie Shar, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.